how, do, how does the socialist government keep people supporting them? There are several different ways, but the most and the most important one is actually uh, they select a group of people and they actually make sure that this group has a really high pay. They would they had a double or even triple pay compared to other people. And most of them had no education or really didn't have, didn't contribute, didn't accomplish much in their life. So by picking those type of people, they actually uh, earned loyalty. If you pay somebody extremely well and you allow that person not to do much, that person becomes actually extremely loyal to you because their way of life is supported by you. And what that does for politicians keeps them in power. In the Yugoslavia government, Communist Party, owned all the resources, controlled where you worked, where you went to school, decided what you uh, will be paid, okay. when you can uh, go on vacation to another country, when can you not? Okay. Uh, what doctors and what medical service you're going to receive? Okay. What church you're going to go to, if at all allowed? If you went, a lot of them you were punished. You could not be a member of the party, privileged or elite. What is okay to say publicly was controlled? That's not on a paper. But if you said something to your brother or to your mother about against a politician, next day you're gone. Because your neighbor overheard you and you never returned home. Okay, that's socialism. That's socialist party slash communist party in power. We are not there and we have to fight not to get there. Thank you. But we have to make sure that we don't allow government to control, to control our prosperity and our freedom. In the US, people still control the freedom and prosperity, but in lesser amount. Okay. What it means that we did actually 33 years ago, uh, it was different, it was better. I came here because I wanted better life. I wanted better life for my kids. I remember 1964 standing in line being hungry. I didn't want my kids to feel that, to experience that. I often ask myself, why do we have so many people willing to give their prosperity and their freedom to the government? And the only logical answer is they, they do not know what they have. Okay, you remember when you were a kid and your mother told you this is hot, don't touch it. You really didn't know what hot is until you touched it, actually you experienced it. When they told, told you this is cold, you touched it. Okay, now you know what's cold and hot. I believe that is the reason why we don't guard our freedom here that bad and that with every ounce of our, and, 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 you know, every effort possible because we don't know what it means not to be free. I lived in a socialist country, got beat up for lighting up a candle on a Christmas Eve. That's not the freedom, so I know what it is. In former Yugoslavia, in a socialist countries, dictatorships of whatever kind, military and police is used to shoot their own people. Or they pick up a person for reading a paper that's from a different country. It doesn't matter what's in the paper. It's illegal in this country. And they will take you in a jail actually and beat you up with a, a sacks filled with sand. So there are no traces of, on, of, of you being beat up. And in a week or two you, you pass away because they busted your kidneys very common in socialist countries. So, uh, we need to support our police and our military and ensure that they stay as strong as possible, strongest in the world, because they are still standing be between, between us and corrupt government. Our country is going broke, but politicians and many, I'm going to say, interest parties, various interest parties, minority interest parties. I don't mean black, white, yellow. I mean what interest groups, minor squeaking wheels. Uh, they get all the attention. Uh, they don't care about you and I and majorities. So our politicians are catering to them. And that's why we're going uh, down. And that is very, very common for socialist governments. Minority wheel was Communist Party. Okay. They had all the rights, all the power above the law. 
okay? And it didn't matter what education or what trade or whatever, you were above the law and protected. The socialists love power, okay? Just like most government people love power, okay? Just like our president, he loves power. And I hope that he is out of power soon. By, by offering various gimmies and, and, and giveaways actually and to various interest groups, I hope we are smart enough to see that he's buying his way into power. Okay, he's taking by doing that, if we give in to that actually inch by inch, we become less free, we become dependent on him or, or our system actually, and they control us. Uh, the two, two things socialists are afraid of, students and guns. Students, because students are young people that know quite a bit, they can figure out what's right and wrong, they have no possessions. They don't, have a, they don't have mortgages, they don't have kids. Typically, they have no fear because they have nothing to lose. When you look throughout the world, throughout socialist, communist countries, who is rising against the government? Students. Okay, so that's one aspect. The second thing that the politicians or governments are afraid of is guns. In socialist countries, communist countries, no one is allowed to have a gun or even a big knife except police or military. And I said they already belong to, you know, they're on their side. So I beg you, does not matter what we do or whatever, as long as you're alive, don't give up a right on your guns. Because I can tell you stories, you know, about standing against the wall and while secret police is searching a house, looking for guns, and you know, stuff like that actually, but in the interest of time, we're gonna go over that. But trust me, it happened many times. And you know, when you're praying to God that your sister or your brother is not harmed, okay, while they're searching your house and you have nothing to stand up with, okay. So as long as we have our guns, we will be free. Thank you.